based out of beautiful Bloomington, Indiana, is Sycamore Land Trust, an organization dedicated to preserving the beauty, health, and diversity of landscapes in southern Indiana. The Sycamore Land Trust is a conservation-oriented land trust. Our primary purpose is to acquire land in South Central Indiana and make sure that it's protected forever. We are a nonprofit based here in Bloomington in Monroe County and we serve Southern Indiana. We do things like acquiring properties through donations and purchases and then we own and manage that land as natural areas. We also provide spaces for people to get out into nature through having public trails. And in the time that we've been around, we've grown to protect over 10,000 acres and have completed over 110 uh, land protection projects. There are a lot of other organizations, of course, that, that own and, and protect land, but we're able to work and protect land in, in ways that the other groups aren't able to. We were started in 1990 by a group of volunteers and essentially were volunteer driven for many years and we have evolved over those years to a much more sophisticated land trust. For example, in the early days, we probably just focused a lot on, you know, green space protection and essentially protecting any land that might be donated to us that a landowner wanted to see protected. But now we're much more targeted in our strategy and in seeking and identifying the land we want to protect. I think the most fascinating part of the Sycamore Land Trust history is the ability to engage the community as long as they've had. In 1990, the Sycamore Land Trust was started by the community and members. The Sycamore Land Trust works not only to acquire land, but to preserve it through careful stewardship and restoration projects. Over the past 30 years, Sycamore Land Trust has done over 110 land protection projects, and that has added up to over 50 separate nature preserves that we own and manage and over 30 conservation easements on private land that we monitor and, and make sure that the rules protecting the land are being followed. We have properties that range in size from a few acres to over a thousand. There's a stewardship component to Sycamore Land Trust where we get out and actively manage the properties we own could be things like making sure hiking trails in our public nature preserves are clear of hazards or habitat restoration projects such as removing invasive species or doing prescribed burns to manage open areas and pollinator habitats. We also do a lot of education on the stewardship side of things, for example, teaching people and the public about land management they can do on their property to enhance its health. We go out to local schools and work in classrooms and often work on the school grounds, getting kids out into nature in their school's own backyard and give them an opportunity to learn what is there and learn more about the nature that they see every day. And we offer guided hikes to all age ranges at our nature preserves and we also work with uh, adult groups as well to get people out into nature as, as much as we can. The Sycamore Land Trust impacts conservation through our management of our preserves as well as education. Education is a huge component of conservation because we want the public to be involved as much as possible because they're really the volunteers and the backbone of conservation work, both now and into the future. Another way that we work is by holding conservation easements, which are permanent agreements that protect land that is still privately owned. A conservation easement is essentially a contract between an existing landowner and Sycamore Land Trust that places permanent restrictions on the property that will protect its natural qualities. And then Sycamore Land Trust is the holder of that conservation easement. We're the ones responsible for enforcing its terms and monitoring it. And those restrictions are in place on the property forever. So all subsequent landowners of that particular property must abide by the terms. 
Despite the loss of 1.59 million hectares of American natural forest in 2020, the Land Trust continues to acquire and protect land for the preservation of nature. It's a very big concern that we're losing so much forested land because not only are humans on the planet, but so are all the wildlife and other things that we depend on. So when losing those habitats, we're really causing a detriment not only to those wildlife that live in the forest, but also ourselves. One of the reasons that protecting natural areas is so important is for endangered species to have a place to continue to exist and, and hopefully to not only survive, but to increase in numbers and, and thrive. And we have a number of endangered and threatened and species of, of concern that have been documented on Sycamore's nature preserves. Two important ones which are federally endangered are the Indiana bat and long-eared bat. It's important to protect these endangered species because not only is it federally by law required to protect an endangered species on the endangered species list, but also these species are crucial in different ecosystems and may not be as prevalent or important charismatic species as others might find, like the polar bear or other things like that. Protecting these endangered species is important for future generations to allow them to be able to experience nature as we have been able to in the past and also ensure a healthy ecosystem. Southern Indiana is an amazing place for biological diversity and needs to be protected for that reason, to allow plants and animals the space to thrive, to make sure protected areas are connected so plants and animals can migrate through those corridors. Habitat corridors are very important to the movement of wildlife and also with climate change to the movement of plants. And basically, habitat corridor is a area of connected natural areas, hopefully protected in some way, where animals can move and over the long term that plants can move as well through reproduction. And they're very important because populations of species need to not only have room to grow and reproduce and thrive, but also to exchange genes for diversity and population health. And also as the climate changes, having a corridor gives things a chance to move and hopefully still survive in a habitat that is hospitable for them. The Trust is working to establish a diverse and abundant habitat for native plants and animals in Southern Indiana, which impacts conservation across the state. I think it's this idea of protecting land forever for the public's benefit is the real contribution Sycamore makes for the public. That's actually something that takes a lot of work that I think the public really benefits from is are having these miles and miles of hiking trails to get out into nature. It's kind of amazing to think that most of our forests were all cut down in the past 150 years or so. A lot of them have regrown, but they won't be there forever and, and they won't be as healthy as they could be if they aren't protected and, and managed. The most rewarding part is just seeing land protected. It's really rewarding to work on an acquisition project and get to the conclusion where we know that land is going to be protected forever. So I think one of the big problems and kind of issues that comes with conservation is people feeling overwhelmed. A lot of environmental problems are massive and as one person you can feel like what can I do like what is one impact me and I think an important takeaway is that one person can make a big difference even if you can't see it whether you remove invasives from your backyard or maybe you plant a new species or you work on creating a bird house or have a bee home in your backyard Small things can really make a difference in conservation, and it's important to realize that collectively our actions speak volumes.